my Lord Mayor, City Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here this afternoon at the command of Her Majesty the Queen to present Dorothy Francis this Queen's Award for Enterprise Promotion. This Lifetime Achievement Award is given to Dorothy today in recognition of over 30 years of supporting social businesses to establish and grow, primarily through her service at the Cooperative and Social Enterprise Agency, where she is Chief Executive. Today is, of course, a very special occasion for Dorothy, but it's also a very special occasion for me, as this is the first time that I've been able to present a Queen's Award for Enterprise promotion. Although there have been 254 Queen's Awards made in this 50th anniversary year, only five awards have been made for enterprise promotion across the entire UK, and only one of those, Dorothy's, for lifetime achievement. And that makes Dorothy's achievement stand out as nationally significant. Instituted by Royal Warrant in 1966, the Queen's Awards for Enterprise are the UK's most coveted business awards, given only to companies and individuals who are outstanding in their field. The Queen's Award for Enterprise Promotion is giving to deserving individuals who have played an outstanding role in promoting the growth of business, the enterprise or entrepreneurial skills and attitudes in others. Examples of this kind of work can include, for instance, giving up their time to help potential ent entrepreneurs in education or in starting a business. But only in Leicester do potential entrepreneurs have the benefit of drawing on someone like Dorothy's lifetime of experience in the field of social enterprise. That is a clear advantage for those people. The organisation that Dorothy leads specialises in delivering advice, training and business growth for services for cooperatives and social enterprises in Leicester, Leicestershire and East Midlands. Through Dorothy's guidance and leadership, CASE has assisted more than 600 business startups, has directly supported over 200 enterprises to start and develop, and has worked with hundreds more to realise and grow their potential. Many of these enterprises simply would not have got out of the starting blocks were it not for Dorothy inspiring confidence and nurturing the enthusiasm and passion of potential entrepreneurs. Getting this kind of support is vital in the early stages of a business startup, as it vastly improves the chances of the long term success of that enterprise. Some of the companies who have benefited from Dorothy's support have been trading now between 20 and 30 years and have provided jobs for local people. Dorothy's commitment to supporting social enterprises means that she commits her personal time in a voluntary capacity through mentoring individuals and lending her support to the boards of cooperative and community groups. She has also done much to promote diversity and achieve a greater presence of women in enterprise. I know how much Dorothy is valued by her own team at CASE, and everyone there shares in the prestige associated with this accolade, which will further enhance the already excellent reputation of CASE. Your success and the presentation of this award make this a proud day for Leicestershire's business community. And once again, I offer many congratulations to Dorothy in gaining this award. In a moment, I'll have the pleasure of presenting the symbol of the award, which is this rather splendid looking crystal chalice. But before I do this, I'd like to ask my Vice Lord Lieutenant, Colonel Murray Coville, to read the grant of appointment. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of our other realms and territories, Queen, Defender of the Faith, to 
Dorothy Francis, greeting. We, recognising the outstanding achievement of the said award recipient, as demonstrated in the promotion of enterprise in our United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, our Channel Islands and our Island of Man, and wishing to show our royal favour, do hereby confer upon her the Queen's Award for Enterprise Promotion Lifetime Achievement Award for her lifetime from the 21st day of April 2016. We hereby give permission for the said recipient of the award to use the words Holder of the Queen's Award for Enterprise Promotion Lifetime Achievement Award after her name on personal stationery and to use the words Holder of the Queen's Award for Enterprise Promotion Lifetime Achievement Award after her name and the title of the paid or honorary position she holds with a company or organisation on its stationery, provided that it is made clear that the award relates to the individual and not to the company or organisation. Given at our Court of St James, under our Royal Sign Manual, this 21st day of April 2016, in the 65th year of our reign, by the Sovereign's command. <laughs> Thank you.